What's going on guys, Real Tachima here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today I have another request video and this is how to make the screen shake when a big enemy moves in and attacks question mark and this was recommended by Magus Waffy. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm terrible with names but uh, yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, now I'm not going to make it a boss but you can easily transfer this into a boss um pretty simply so here I have like a little player and press space to put down a bomb and as you can see there's the bomb and at the very end it explodes so when that explodes I want there to be a uh, uh, screen shake effect all right let's go ahead and get started so in our objects go ahead and create a new object we'll call this obj explosion and in the create event, we're going to set alarm zero to equal. And this is how long you want your screen shake to, uh, how long you want it to last. So I'm going to say two seconds. That might be a bit much, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So in the step event, uh, we're going to say view w port equals 640 whoa, what was that 640 plus uh, choose random and we're gonna say 25 random 50 alright and then we're gonna do view h port equals 480 plus choose random 25 random 50 all right so what this is gonna do is the view w port stands for view with port equals 640 which is the width of our room uh, and it's gonna plus so whatever that is plus it's going to choose a random number if it chooses um, this this right here this line so choose is it, it basically chooses two options you got this option here separated by a comma this option so if it picks this option it's gonna pick a number 1 through 25 or I think 0 through 25 and it picks this one 0 through 50 same thing with the width so it's gonna and it's gonna change the uh, like the dimension of the room so if we go ahead and set alarm zero we're gonna say view w port view w port equals 640 view h port equals 480 so it's just gonna bring it back to its normal position and then it's going to instance destroy Alright, so in the OBJ bomb, or now this is where you're going to actually implement it into your own game. So if you had a boss, uh, when he walks in, you would say, in the create event, you know, um, you know, instance create this explosion. Or if when he jumps, when he hits the ground, say V speed is greater than 10 and he collides with the ground, then create that. You know what I mean? So uh, in alarm one, we're just going to go ahead and say instance create uh, zero zero obj explosion now again two seconds might be a long time but uh... let's go and test it out so here's the bomb and nothing happens and that is because um... actually if you go into your room and you go to views here, the view tab, and you hit enable views, visible when room starts. Now it's actually going to create a view to distort. So put down a bomb, and boom. As you can see, that uh, that was a little longer than uh, it needed. But yeah, check out that effect. Um, makes that nice shaking motion. Uh, 
yeah that's pretty awesome actually let me let me check something out here if we do negative here because if you notice it was only dragging down in one position so I just want to know if you do negative that it will go in the up position now okay um, so yeah if you don't want it to be as violent uh, of a shake like that in the explosion you could just go ahead and set these numbers down so I set it to 5 and let's say 10 so do negative and negative 5 negative 10 we went and played it now we let the bomb explode as you can see the shaking's not not as much so uh, that was my tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.